What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks AAF slash Treeb Talks NFL because I have a big old opinion to share with you guys today. But before I get into that, do you like money? Because I like money. And you can win some money entering Treeb Talks AAF pick contest. All you have to do is enter either leaving your picks for number week t- for week number two in the comment section down below. Or you can join the Tree of Talks AAF Picks Facebook group. It'll be in the description down below as well as pinned up in the comment section. So don't miss your opportunity to win $100 via the Cash App, $100 Amazon gift card, or a new pair of Apple AirPods. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Hit that intro. One to go up top. Dumps it off across the middle. Four nine. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. Now, I'm a firm believer in the Alliance. I think that this football league could be around for a long, long time. And it's not necessarily only because it produces high-quality football. It's because of what this league could do for the NFL as well. That's the smartest thing that the AAF could have done, is to link up with the NFL. That's the XFL's fatal mistake. Again, why I think they shouldn't even try and come out. I know Vince McMahon's all about that competition, trying to, you know, overrun his competition. But this is just a competition Vince McMahon cannot win with the NFL and their new feeder system, the AAF. And with their new feeder system here with the Alliance of American Football... I think there's going to be some changes down the road. If this league sticks around for five more years, my take, my bold take is the NFL is going to get rid of, um, is going to get rid of practice squads. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the topic of this video. And this is why the AAF will replace NFL practice squads in five years. So here's my take on this whole situation. If this does not make any sense to you, let me dial it back and explain to you what I mean by the AAF will replace practice squads in about five years. So as of right now, the NFL has a 53 active man roster as well as a full practice squad. Now, when people get hurt and they don't have enough players on their uh, official roster, they have to bring somebody up from the practice squad. And, you know, that happens a lot to NFL teams. Injuries happen on the regular. But... What I think should happen is that they just completely get rid of the practice squad. Because if you you look at it, practice squads in five years compared to Alliance talent is going to be not as good. If you're in the NFL and you're in the practice squad and you know you have an opportunity to get some playing time in the AAF, you probably aren't good enough to be in the AAF at the time. You know what I'm saying? I think in five years, once, you know, teams really get their 53-man rosters out and they say who's starting, who's first string, who's second string, who's third string, who's on the practice squad. I think more people that are going to be placed in that practice squad situation is going to decide to just go to the AAF and those that don't, you know, probably think they can't really make it into the alliance. So with the new league, with the incentives and the developmental uh, league, which they are really trying to be, and I think they are doing a terrific job uh, thus far. Again, I know we're only one week in, but with the potential being so high, I'm really excited to see where this league goes. So with that being said, every AAF team has about four NFL affiliates. Now in the Alliance, every team has a 52-man roster, and what my whole theory is, is these four teams, they have an injury, they need to bring somebody up on the practice squad. They bring up somebody from the Alliance. Now, if they end up doing really well, they get a full-time contract in the NFL. But if they don't, they go back to the AAF where they belong. And that also kind of Im- Im- impeaches or breeds. Breeds is probably definitely not the right word. <laughs> or impeaches. <laughs> Those are just two uh, poorly used words for what I was trying to say. Now, I know that the AAF has those three-year contracts, but... With those contracts, I think they're going to be able to add an option to 
go up to the NFL. And, you know, the uh, the teams, I'm sure, kind of like the, uh, the quarterback draft, I think they're going to be able to protect some players from uh, being able to do that. But, you know, they're only, they're only going to be able to protect a certain amount of players, maybe three, maybe four, that they can't take. But the rest are fair game for NFL teams. And if you're in the AAF, that is a tremendous opportunity for you. You have a chance to go into the NFL from this developmental league that you obviously shined in because somebody's trying to bring you up. And then when you get your NFL opportunity, you shine, you show out, you do good. Hey, you just got yourself an NFL contract. You're making more money than you were in the AAF. It's a true developmental league. Congratulations. You have made it to the National Football League, man. Congratulations. But if not, you go back down to the AAF. You play another year with your guys, and you're back where you were, you know. If they want to make this alliance a true developmental league, I think that's what they should do. I think they should get rid of practice squads and really try and dive into replacing them with some alliance members now i understand they can't completely get rid of practice squads because i mean who are they going to practice up against you know things like that but you know the scout team they could just be that they could be the scout team but you know i think more teams now that there are affiliates for each team and if they could have the option to bring up a practice squad member or bring up a player from their aaf um partnership their affiliate with the, the AAF team if they had the choice I think that's also just tremendous tremendous you know marketing for the league and has opportunities for those guys to really ball out make more money and do things like that and <clears throat> you know if they're affiliated I guess necessarily they won't have to sign a contract so their contract won't be you know voided or wronged or anything like that but you know, if they perform well, maybe the NFL can offer them a contract. You know, on the contract side of things, I'm not 100% sure how they would make that work. But it just, it sounds like such a great idea in my head that I wanted to make a YouTube video about it. So hopefully I don't get hate in the comment section down below. So basically, here's my gist. You're a team in the NFL. One of your guys go down. What I think in five years will happen, they will look to their AAF um, affiliated team you know, look at who they have protected and then bring one guy up that you have seen film on, you've seen dominate, and you're like, let's see what you got. Bam, you come in. Because they, I like midway through this video, I realized they can't really get rid of practice squads because, you know, who's going to practice against who. But I think the more, the predominant way of bringing people up from practice squads will be trying to go out and bring up somebody from your AAF exclusive team and that's why i think they'll try and the, you know they'll bend the rules a little bit you know if it's out of the alliance season they will let them play it's like josh johnson you know it's exactly like josh johnson you know this year uh he was playing for the fleet and you know now he's playing for he was playing for the redskins for you know three four seasons i mean three four games so you know it's gonna be kind of like that you know you got your exclusive team you can bring them up and, you know, then they can just go right back and play for the AAF, just like nothing nothing happened. And, you know, if they get injured, too, they have a, they have a decent road to recovery, especially if it's in the, uh, the early part of the season. They have a bit of time to recover as well. So, you know, it's, it's just it's excellent what the AAF is able to do, and it's going to be crazy to see what they do uh, in the future because I truly think this is going to be the new way to bring up players uh, from the practice squad will be from the AAF exclusive team and then you know the alliance is going to continue to grab on you know buried talent and then the nfl is going to start scouting from there take those guys you know it's going to be a true elite awesome feeder system for the nfl and i can't wait to see how it develops and that was why the aaf will replace nfl's practice squad what do you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget you can check the links down below as well you can like me on facebook at dream talks follow me on twitter at dream talks or follow me on instagram at trey bond pixley also if you're feeling oh so generous you can go ahead and donate on patreon that's patreon.com forward slash tree talks also if you haven't yet click that subscribe button you can be the 730th subscriber and if you are the 730th subscriber make sure you comment that you were the 730th subscriber i will pin your comment Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. I put new content out six days a week. Ain't nobody at work with me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.